Spring training's right around the corner. I thought to myself, hmm, where is the most famousest, most famous, famousest, uh, English is not my first language. What is the most famous spring training facility of all time? And I thought, Dodger Town. So we're here at Holman Stadium. Well, one of the most famous spring train facilities in all of baseball. So I'm gonna take you around the complex and trust me, it's a huge complex. So let's start walking through the gates and have some fun, shall we? So if you guys are wondering what's going on, I got some new camera equipment. I decided today would be the great day to have El Tipo Vision. So you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. So technically this is considered Vero Beach, but they did turn it into Dodger Town later on. The complex was started in 1948 with the hopes of bringing some spring training, some minor leagues and all kinds of stuff. As you can see guys right there, some batting cages. There were people warming up here. This facility is still used today. It wasn't until 1953 that Holman Stadium was built and the Dodgers signed a contract with the city to bring spring training here. I mean, this place has seen many minor league games, many spring training games. It's been a fun facility, but unfortunately the Dodgers left in 2008 oh, for Arizona. I know, I know, 2000 people just leaving for Arizona, a Cactus League and all that. But it was brought back a little later to host some minor league games. I mean, the most notable being the Jackie Robinson games. I mean, we had the Bavard Manatees versus the St. Louis Mets. We had the Flying Tigers versus the Mets. It was really fun in 2014, 2015. Unfortunately, minor league baseball hasn't been back since then, but it's a beautiful facility. I mean, think about it. We're walking down the same street that many Dodger greats and even other team greats came through between 1953 and 2008. So beautiful. People are still here, still using it. And I hear some bats and balls being hit. So in a few minutes, we're gonna go see what's going on here because there's something very special going on right now. Now I did say this is a big facility. So if you get lost, we have a, a map right here. I mean, I think we're right now here next to Holman Field. I mean, as you can see, there's tennis courts and there's a multi-sports field and there's all these fields down here. And we're gonna go look at those fields right now and see what's over there. So you got Holman Field that way and you got field one and two that way and some softball fields and use baseball fields that way. So. Home and Fields that way. We're gonna go see that one in a few, but something's going on over there, field one and two. So if we turn in this way and start walking, we'll see. I mean, beautiful complex. It's field seven and eight over here. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, starting to rain. So people are starting to run away from the field, but there was something going on here. So you can see in the far distance, they're starting to cover the tarp, cover the field with the tarp, so. Yeah, sorry about that guys, need to readjust, it was falling off my head. <laughs> hey, trial and error boys and girls, trial and error. Now, this is also the facility that a lot of people practice on and rehearse. And if you guys can see past that tree, oh, is that a flag? Yep, yep, that looks like a flag. We're gonna get a little bit closer before I tell you guys what it is, because I can see the flag, the camera can't see the flag. So. That's right, guys. With the World Baseball Classic coming down to South Florida, we actually have a World Baseball Classic team practicing here in Old Dodger Town. This place is amazing. It's a perfect place. Can you imagine if you are a baseball fan and even a player, you can play in the same spot, practice in the same spot as some of the great Dodgers of all time. Of course, granted 1953 to 2008, but still some of the great Dodgers of all time. I mean, over there in the batting cages, I got to see a couple of the players take a few hacks and swings and get ready for that world baseball. There it is, boys and girls. Yup. Practicing right here. I don't know, man. I might have to kind of root for them to win the World Baseball Classic if I if I get to meet a few players and talk to the team, but I don't think that's gonna happen yet. It's starting to rain, guys, so they are kindly covering the tarp, but we got seven fields, seven and eight here. Let's go check out the rest of this facility, because it is a pretty big facility, as I've said numerous times. 
Now I've set a bunch of Dodger greats and other greats that play here. So they have at one of the walls in front of Holman Field, the Baseball Hall of Fame at Historic Dodger Town, where at least over 140 players who are on the Hall of Fame have played here. I mean, we could look at such greats as Gary Carter, Frank Robinson, Don Sutton, Duke Snyder, and let's go on to the other side. I mean, there's Tony La Russa. Let's see, we got Barry Larkins down there. We got Eno Slaughter. Of course, Connie Mack. So many greats. We just look at this wall all day and just count the greats that have played here. Personally, one of my favorite right there, Stan the Man Musel. So right before you go into Holland Park, you check this out right here. All right, guys, I've been procrastinating this one for a bit, but let's start walking into Holland Park. Look at this. These gates have seen so many Dodger fans and baseball fans walk through it. Let's walk on and check out the field, check out the stands, and see how much this place has really changed, or if it's changed at all. Oh, took a wrong turn. That's the field. Are we allowed on it? Let's go sneak in, Mike. Let's just go, let's go stand on the field and look at it for a little bit. Oh, wow. Still a gorgeous field. Yep, I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, people practicing. Let's go, let's go in the stands and check it out for a little bit. That's some bumpy music they got playing though for some practice. I mean, it's kind of a, you know how many times I've sat there and said that this stadium for minor league has an old park field? Well, I mean, this place was built in 1953 and has been renovated a few times since then, but this, is the definition of an old park field. Literally, just seats and a field. No wall to cover anything, as you guys can see. It's literally just shrubbery. Ooh, that's neat, a little baseball lamp. I kinda, kinda wanna want those. I mean, that's it. This, this is it. There is nothing to protect anything from the elements. There's no walls, there's no nothing, as we can see over there. Some players going off. Oh, speakers and playing some great music. That's how you get warmed up. Some K-pop right there. That's what I need. I need some K-pop when I warm up. But seriously, there's no walls. Just a field. Seats. Say, I want to sit in one of these. Oh, look at that. Can you imagine sitting here, relaxing during a hop? Florida summer and just watching these games, having a ball come your way as a little kid, trying to catch a pop fly. I kind of forgot my gloves, so I'll use my hat if a pop fly comes my way, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're just doing catching drills. Let's get up and walk a little around more around the stadium as I listen to some K-pop. Of course, there's the first base cafe if you ever get hungry, but nothing's going on right there right now. Ah, <sighs> such a beautiful park. Oh. <laughs> Um, sir, sir, I'll take one beer. No, no one beer? All right, cool, moving on. Of course, there's the media dugout. It's... Oh, I just noticed something. It's been a while since I've been here. And I'm gonna go take you down to the other side because I don't want to disturb the players practicing. Oh, there we go, that's not K-pop. I know that song. <laughs> Please do not, do not shut me down, YouTube, for having songs in the background. Copyright infringement, I get it, awesome. Uh, bottom jeans, <laughs> gonna have to cover that in the background. I'll add that later. But no, we come over here. There's something missing in Dodger Town. Have you guys noticed what it is yet? No? Still, how about if I get a little closer and show you guys what we're missing here in Dodger Town. All right, we're almost there. Man, I still can't get over how beautiful the stadium is. Ready for this, boys and girls? So every stadium we've been to, every stadium we've been to, has dugouts, correct? Well, this has a dugout, except the dugout is right over here. And that's right, no closed dugout. Awesome. Imagine being a player and having to sit in this during the Florida sun during spring training. Beautiful historic Dodger Town sign over there. I mean, you guys look around. Amazing, beautiful park. The epitome of old school baseball right here.
All right, do not do this ever. There's just like right now nobody here and I need to go a few feet that way. Why do that? And I don't, I have to lug some stuff. Why do that? Let me tell you a little bit more about this. In 2014, this property became part of the Florida Historical Society, meaning that this place will never go away. So you guys need to get down here. All right, let's just try not to run over those people. Again, gorgeous facility, amazing people. I've gotten to actually try and talk to some of the national team that's here practicing, but I, 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 don't, I don't speak Korean, sorry. They're very nice, very nice people, very humble. The f very little English they did speak, they kind of didn't want to be on camera, but they love this facility as much as I do. I just got to see some of them take batting practice and they looked very happy to be here, I mean. So now we're gonna head right over to the softball baseball field. Why, you ask? Well, for one simple reason, because if I'm in Dodger Town, and I get a baseball from one of those lovely players, we are gonna go to the softball baseball field. And I am gonna do what so many greats, I don't know how many times I can say so many greats have done before me, and that's hit a ball at Dodger Town. All right, fans, as you can see, we have the ball on the tee right there, the field out there. I'm on a field at Dodger Town, but we're not gonna El Tipo vision this because I don't wanna bust my camera on my brand new mic, so. All right, let's go find the baseball. <laughs> Unfortunately, still haven't hit my home run, so. Nice hit though. Thought it went more center, but the way I look at the ball, kind of drifted to right field. I don't know. I have a thing for hitting oppo, apparently. Because between this and Pine Hills, ball, once again, ends up in right field. We will wait till we get back to the car to sign this beauty, but gotta hit a ball at Old Dodger Town. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Baseball Adventures of El Tipo. And if you're ever in Vero Beach, come over here to a historic Dodger Town, man. I've had so much fun here. I wanna thank all the players I got to meet and talk to. Sorry I couldn't film them. They were a little secretive about their camera and I understand that, I get it. They're getting ready for the World Baseball Classic. They really wanna win this year, so. But once again, this area has been so much fun. I've had such a blast. I got to hit a baseball in old historic Dodger Town. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm El Tipo, and this has been the latest baseball adventures of El Tipo. Let's go spring. Training.